Greetings once again, loyal subjects. Chris of the California Kings here, also known as Idaho Jack on Steam. And uh, look what I got here. Oh, look what I got here. A Forced Class Corvette, the Mart for Glory. I spent quite a few echoes on this baby. I got a new deck gun, the Cottrell and Hathor Sage Denunciation. I now have a space for the Memento Mori to be fitted in. I've kept my auxiliary, I've kept my engines. Um, my crew capacity has been increased, as has my hull. Damage, everything. I am feeling ecstatic about this acquisition. This... Oh. <laughs> to give you an example of how deliciously overpowered I am now with the combination of the Memento Mori and my new deck gun, I went and I killed a Lorne Fluke super quickly um, as the Venturer's, one of the Venturer's desires was to obtain a Colossal, uh, uh, a Colossal Fluke core. Um, and I need another one, so I'll be tracking down another Lorne Fluke here pretty soon. But, oh my god, I, this is episode 43, if I'm mentally calculating correctly. <laughs> yeah, this should be episode 43 that I'm recording right now. It's taken me 43 episodes to finally feel confident in spending enough echoes to get a new ship. <laughs> oh, god, it feels good. Anyways, so to catch you up on what I've been doing is, um, in addition to uh, hunting for Lorne Fluke, um, I, I took out a couple of mores, um, which, by the way, now that I have more weapons, I feel more confident in shooting things up, and I've discovered a quicker, easier way to get hunting trophies. So I was able to take a hunting trophy over to the Colonnade, and I got the Admiralty Commission from there. So there's that. I'm also just, you know, dropping off... Uh... Oh, let's see, what do we have here? I can do the last tour again. Sweet. I just need seven Z stories, but I've only got the one. So I'll pick up a port report since I'm here. But um, I, I discovered a tomb colonist hidden in the belly of a moray. So um, I wanted to come to Venderbite because I'm on my way up to Wither for an Admiralty's commission. Um, so I will be able to uh, get those hunting trophies to further the bandaged Poissonier's story. But first, since we're going about our business anyhow, let's, let's speak to the Carnelian Exile. Because um, I went to Wither and I got Salt's attention, and I specifically held off from doing it um, until I could start a brand new video, which is what I'm doing today. So, Bread and Salt, the Cornelian Exile invites you to her cabin for dinner. We need to discuss a certain direction, she informs you. I am Persona Non Grata in Port Cornelian, the Exile remarks. I was too close to the new sequence, and the machine. I have repented of that now, but I'll never go home. She leans closer. Salt's song, she whispers. I hear it on the wind, the way east, the horizon's road. Will you go east, my captain? Will you take me with you? Hmm. 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 Oh, boy. Oh boy. What is my choice? Z is wide and I'll always return home. Which I, I mean, I will. But that's not a true statement. Oh. The Z is my only home. You are Z Captain, the old black ocean of the world. It's half hundred ports. You'll live and die here. I cannot rest until I've crossed the last horizon. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this, this seems like the answer for me. As much as I want to play it safe, I can't rest until I've crossed the last horizon. We're hungry for more. The exile smiles. Destiny is destiny, she says softly. You are the captain I would choose to follow across the sea. If the time comes for you to claim your burning name, speak with me again. I cannot enter the name's prison. Not anymore. She taps her glasses. But perhaps you can, and what does that mean? Speak to the exile about the name's prison. How will you breach it when you find it? Oh, okay, well... How will we breach the name's prison? Behind her glasses, he says somehow that she's closed her eyes. You must have mastered the map, she says softly. 
entered in the house of every power, and you'll need to bring a burning truth to match the burning name. is not enigmatic whatsoever. Oh, I, I, oh, I can't increase my iron. Oh, my iron is already 103, so... Doop -de -doop. What? Oh, yes, the colonite. I need to go there. Increase my veils, increase my veils, increase my... My veils. Okay. Name, name, prison, burning truth. How do I get Salt's song? How will you breach the name's prison? Letters of the name which burn no more. Entered in the house of every power. You'll need to bring a burning truth to match the name. Okay. Oh, let's uh, let's have a little fun here. Come on, come on. Oh, <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a toughie. I've always wanted to take out a life berg. Come on. Oh shit, you're coming, you're coming. Yep, come on. Come on, keep it up, keep it up. There we go. <laughs> you see, guys? This is what I mean. I feel so good about this right now. This is just amazing. What does a life bird give us? Concentrate on gathering treasures. Well, let's gather treasures. Another hunting trophy. I have two. Cool. And a tightly sealed crate. I've gained seven fuel. Hell droppings of both no pines. Don't know what they're made of, but they'll burn long and steady. Better than coke, much. Hunting trophy it is. Heavens bless. Alright. Well. Um, so here's where I'm at. I'm gonna get a few more hunting trophies. And then what I shall do is I shall return. Um, I'm gonna head over here to Wither first. More hunting trophies. Um, when I jump back in, I will be at the Chelonate, and we will be investigating the Bandage Pulse in your storyline a little bit more in depth while I try to figure out the mystery behind the, uh, the Carnelian Exile's meaning. Not sure what that means. I don't, I don't know. Oh, boy. Come on. Oh, I'm backing myself into a corner here. He's gonna charge me. Yep. Uh, yep. Yep, he hit me. Oh, he hit me pretty good. And good night. One more hunting trophy. Uh, let's give it a shot. Replenish supplies. Mirrors failed, but I get more supplies. I like hunting lifebergs. <laughs> Anyways, as I said, um, uh, when I come back, we'll be at the Colonnade, and we'll see what we can do with the Bandage Poissonier. Well, everyone, as you can see over here, I've kind of had a few run-ins. I uh, killed a glorious Dreadnought, which uh, hurt me a lot more than I thought it would. But I also uh, successfully attacked and killed a Lorn Fluke. So now I'm at that point where I will be taking that colossal uh, flute core back to the Venturer to see what he would be doing with it. But in the meanwhile, here we are at the Colonnade. I have enough hunting trophies. Let us see what the Bandage Possum here will be doing here. Um, find someone to teach secrets of butchery to the bandaged poissonier. A bone man shows you the glyphs cut into his white dusted palms. They mean separation, he tells you. He will instruct your chef if you can prove your worth. 
an improvement. When the postioneer returns to the ship, he has read his elbows. I have learned what I need to know, he says, his voice haggard. Back in the galley, he throws away all his knives but one. You watch it slice, skin, bone, and butterfly. As precise as a surgeon's scalpel, as quick as a minnow. Flesh goes one way, skin and organs another. As the crew dine, he seeks you out. It goes well, my captain. I have my initial ingredients. I have my skills, but the favors I pursue must be coaxed forth like a hermit crab from his shell. I'm afraid I need very particular seasoning. Mute salt and zoop. They sell the former at Wither, where the salt pools fizz and pop. Zoop is made at Mount Palmerston. Its composition is a secret, but anything that can be combined can be separated again with the right equipment. So he needs muter salt and zoop. I need one zoop, one muter salt. That's it? Okay. Seems fairly freaking easy to me. Oh, wait, no, we better just save anyway, because I'm a saving man, and I'm also almost half dead, so I want to freaking make sure I got what I got. Okay, so, muter salt and soup. Um, bit of a... <sighs> I don't know what to do about the Carnelian Exile. Like, I'm racking it over my brain. I did take a brief stop by Codex, and I took a brief stop by the Avid Horizon to see if either of those might give me some sort of insight into what I need to do. Unfortunately, neither did. I figured Codex might, simply for the fact that it, you know, um, you've, you've got all the sigils inscribed there, and I thought the Avid Horizon might, because she was speaking of the Horizon and going to the East and such things. But I am, um... I am a little bit distraught. Although, however, <laughs> I realize now what the Venturer is up to. Um, that he is putting together all of these materials, the, the flute core and all of these things, he's putting them together for a trip through the Black Gate. Uh, sorry, the High Gate at the Avid Horizon. And um, I will greatly admit that that makes me feel more than just a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> more than a little bit. Um, so, that being said, I'm gonna, uh, gear up, get some supplies, I'm gonna make my way up to Mount Palmerston and Wither, get some Zoop and Muter Salt, and see what I can accomplish, so I will be right back. Alright, everyone, we made it to Wither, I have purchased my Zoop from Mount Palmerston, my Muter Salt here at Wither, and now we shall see... Have you my muter salt, Captain? My zoop? I am keen to investigate the possibilities. A brazing alembic bubbles eagerly in the background. Excellent! He retreats into his galley and bars the door. Day and night, his chugging, his jugging crucible blazes. The galley portholes flare crimson across the Black Sea. He does not answer the door. It ships biscuits and barreled water for a while. When he emerges, his bandages are yellow with smoke. I am victorious! The zoop defied me, but I have broken it. Chanterelles from some soggy edge of London. Pigstock, a feisty dash of paprika. Lament onions, petals from the exile's rose, which grows in hell. And tears from a hanged man or a heartbroken priest. I believe either would suffice. The method of the ingredients is combination is singular. I believe I can make use of it. We are charting new culinary frontiers, my captain, but the Fathom King presides over the drowning feasts. He is accustomed to excess. We must amaze. That night, the crew dine happily on fish stew. The poissonier keeps your wine glass topped up, and at the end of dinner approaches you nervously. I am afraid I have another request, Captain. I need something from Cartart. A certain book of recipes. If we were going that way... He fidgets with the ends of his bandages, avoiding your gaze. Why is he lying to you? Interesting. Very interesting. Why indeed? Here's a question about your current destination. My business says should not take long. I only need to retrieve an old recipe book. It contains certain um, formula and distillations. I will need for the feast. Yes. He's an exceptional chef. But a poor liar. Alright, to Khan's heart it is. Okay. Khan's heart. To see why my shifty-eyed poissonier apparently has business here, but doesn't want to tell me about what it really is. Poissonier requests your leave and back pay in a form preferred in the conate. He 
stands stiffly before you. I will not need long or much. Oh! Oh, thank you! Oh, god damn it! <sighs> damn it! I wish I had more! Follow him in secret. Oh! Well, fortunately, having the drowning pearls, uh, you know, got me to this point. Um. Shit. Alright, I'm just gonna let him go. I'm just gonna let him go. He disappears into the canal streets. An hour passes. Two. The dark side lamps buzz. A water taxi bobs by, carrying a silk swathed minister and his blushing, black suited lover. Over the side of your ship, a sailor sings a music hall ballad as he ch chisels barnacles from her flanks. Your cook returns. Did he find what he was looking for? I believe so, he says. His voice is hollow but determined. His hands are empty. As he boards the ship, he stops and catches your elbow. Captain, a word of advice. Do not divide yourself. Alone what matters to you. Pursue it avidly. It is not kinder to give in the first place. It is not kinder to give... It is kinder not to give in the first place than it is to take back what you have given. The banished posture requires either a colossal fluke core or an elegant cockatoo. Well, fortunately, the uh, colossal fluke core is something that I can come by quite a bit easier than this cockatoo thingamadoogle. Sala sack of dropped up beans or did it lotly, okay. Fluke core, fluke core, fluke core. Well, fortunately, I am in an area that is nearby. Wait, what? Oh, well, let's see this. After his visit to the Conate, he is more fixated, less congenial. He corners you below decks, his eyes firm in between his wrappings. I need a capstone for the feast, Captain. Something unforgettable. I have a vision. No, oh, two. One demands the core of a lorn fluke. The other requires a certain... Bird of the elder continent, a cockatoo given to funeral poetry. I have heard a certain southern showman owns such a creature. He waves a casual hand. Either would do. Do not trouble yourself with both. Hmm. Huh. Well, I mean, I know where to get a... I know where to find a Lorne Fluke, so I'm not, you know, 100% displeased with that idea. Cockatoo. Oh, damn it. I wish I'd had drowning pearls. More of them. Oh, well. Oh, well. Interesting. Do not divide yourself, he said. Wow. How very intriguing. Also intriguing is the notion that he is creating a feast for the Fathom King. All right, let's see. Um, it's Lorne Flukes over here near the Colonnade and by the Fathom King's Hold. So, we'll start over here and then we'll make our way around. And um, I guess once I get that, uh, well, Lorne Fluke will be back. All right, just killed that Lorne Fluke. Examine his corpse. I have three more secrets and one more colossal fluke core, which I'm okay with. I'll spin this secret over here. Um, was it I needed? Needed the mirrors for something and wither, I think. I don't know. But now I've got, you know, uh, 50 mirrors. I needed 50 mirrors for something. I don't remember what. Anyways, so we are here to speak to the bandaged cook. Deliver a colossal flute core to the galley. Marvelous. Bring it in. Forgive me if I do not hope. The Irigo is potent and it would not do for me to forget a vital step in the preparations. Sail for the Fathom King's hold, my captain. I will begin my work. He snaps his fingers, remembering something. Oh, and we will need wine. Lots of wine. Procure five crates of mushroom wine and make your way to the Fathom King's hold. God damn it, I wish I had known that because look, here I am. I'm at the Fathom King's hold. Um, alright, well, I guess this means, uh, squadala, I am off to go get that mushroom wine. Oh. Oh. Hey. Bye. I'll be back. Oh, that would have been so cool if I had literally just been here, um, and had the wine. But I don't have the wine. I will go get the wine. 
I need to go get the, the wine. There's something at the Iron Republic that I'm supposed to do. Oh yeah, for the Empire of Hands! I'm going to be transporting things back and forth uh, to the Empire of Hands from the uh, Iron Republic. I stopped by there. I'm trying to help the uh, Pentecost apes. No, don't do a thing. I'm trying to help them um, build up their dirigible, their zeppelin, if you will. Um, so I have a couple of things that I need to do there. Um, but that comes later. For now, mushroom wine. And then, the Fathom King's Feast. Why, what is this? Sometimes things don't pop in. Jilly Fleur. Yeah, that's, that's great. Going away now. All right. Okay, everyone. We are heading down. Attend the Poissonier's Feast. The drowny court, soggy, chattering, hungry, populate a table of carved coral. The Poissonier claps his hands. Your crew scurry in with steaming plates. The seventh miracle. Okay. There are seven courses, each named. It begins with the first touch on the skin. A plate of silky white flesh submerged in yellow sauce. Fresh, sharp, shocking. Next comes struggling against the current. A fierce terrain of coursing flavors. It leaves the diners watery-eyed and reaching for their wine. Before they recover, bowls of pelagin soup are set before them. Swallowed! The poissonier returns. The taste is deep and rich and heavy, lining the stomach. Several drownies lift the bowls to their lips to catch last drops. A merciful interlude follows. The surface, high above, is a mild palate-cleansing mousse. Afterwards comes lost breath. A roulade of still wriggling tentacles, bitter on the tongue's tip but departing with long, mellow aftertaste as it slides down the throat. The penultimate course, the abandonment of the self, is spun with sugar and crunchy with salt. Spherical cages of solidified syrup containing fiery sweetmeats. The filigree cracks between drowny teeth. The sweetmeats slide down damp throats. And last of all, the promise of what is to follow, a brulee cream of inexplicable pungency, indescribably more-ish. The diners lean back, bloated. With their senses returned, they call for the poissonier and congratulate him upon impeccably reproducing the sensation of drowning in culinary form. It was not drowning, the Fathom King says, his baritone rolling over their babble. It was love. He raises his glass to the poissonier. Ah, oh, I no longer have the bandage portion here. I now have the bandage chef paramount. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, I guess I have to, you know, I have to. No, it, n n n no, no, I will have to launch it seems first. Bandage Chef Paramount Hearts and Pages. Ah, yes, fantastic, fantastic. Recreated the sense of drowning. Except it wasn't drowning; it was love. A feast for the Fathom King, and the Bandage Poissonier has elevated himself to Bandage Chef Paramount. Very much how Maybe's daughter elevated herself to Maybe's rival. But the haunted doctor. His pathway doesn't seem to be open. The irrepressible cannoneer. And now the Carnelian exile. But what, 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 what? I said a moment ago um, I was I needed to increase my mirrors, although I didn't know what for. However, now I remember and recall. Oh wait, I'm going to Guider's Morn. Sorry, I have to go to Guider's Morn. I'm t turning myself around. Um, Frost found. I need 50 mirrors in order to enter Frost found. What will I find in Frost found? Well, loyal subjects, that I suppose is for the next episode of Sunless Sea. Seeing as how I don't have any stories that are known, that are active. I mean, yes, the Cornelian Exile, but I'm. I don't know. That's going to take some doing. That will take a lot of investigation. Um, <clears throat> and I don't, like, I don't want to go and, like, I found out about the Presbytery Adventures' uh, story and where to go completely on accident. So I want to see what I can find out about hers without, you know, having diving into, uh, shall we say, 
um, more of more of the wikis, you know what I mean? I want to see what I can find out. So for the, for now, in the meanwhile, we will go to Frostfound. Um, so uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the next episode and check out everything else we got going on, on the California Kings channel. And until we see you then, hope you enjoy yourselves. Thank you.